What's up, YouTube? Uzumaki Khan here. Welcome to chapter 1107. Live reaction of that One Piece. Yo, let's go, boys. When you feel like this, we cannot get any better, dudes. With that quarter free run, One Piece drops Friday. Okay, Thursday. I'm doing it on Friday. Let's go, boys. Let's go! Yeah. They hear that! The giants! As an emerging giant pirates are here, or should we call him there? They want Luffy. A giant glimpse of hope finally arrives. So, what's gonna happen now, man? The Marines, I mean, like, the whole uh, government's gonna get the biggest blow it's ever gotten. Let's go, dudes. Come on. Haven't seen it. Loyal Beppo. Because look, Beppo feels awkward after seeing Law napping with a snow leopard. A vodka, you know. Vodka, talking about vodka, fam. Flipping the drunk Kaido. Drunk Kaido is the best shit I've ever seen. Especially in the anime, fam. Yeah, we go put me with soon. Omeo and Kashi, giants cause big problems. There we go, co-captain of the giant warrior pirates, Brogid. Hey, they were with them right before in their arc. Co-captain of the giant warrior pirates, Broggy the Red Ogre. Co-captain of the giant warrior pirates, Dory the Blue Ogre. Take the others and swing around the sides. Sink any ship you see. And watch out for those cannons. They're single-handedly gonna make the Buster Cold feel useless. There they came, the Roger that captain! There them too! They were part in the arc! Remember! So they came with backup! There, all of them! Roger that captain! All right, you bastards! <laughs> all right, you bastards! Let's go! Damn, they never just came alone! They came with their squad. They are, look at that! Holy shit, that looks beautiful! The Fable Giant Warriors, the Fable Giant Warrior Pirates are here. Where have they been all these years? It makes sense in the boys to tie in with the next arc. The Fable Giant Warrior Pirates are here. Where have they been all these years? And look at them. Each one of these must have the strength of like flipping 150 normal humans. Countless members of the old crew have also been spotted. What do they want? We've got confirmed sighting of both Broggy the Red Ogre and Dory the Blue. Giant warrior pirates. Yo, man. Tell me this does not give you hope. In it that we are leaving this place that too in one piece. And it feels like that, man. If you got this, as well as the pacifistas. I don't see us not leaving in all uh, merrily. I don't. These two kind of would have been sufficient, but they brought the whole crew with them. Look at the smile, fam. You're no worry in the world. Yeah, Saturn's here. Who gives a shit? And these Omi and Kashi, I like, I remember them back then, right? But I don't exactly pinpoint exactly where, but they were there with them in their arc. Okay. Dead the ships! 
Holy shit, my man just wang his flipping her. Where the club, the giant pirates have made the landfall, blast them to smithereens, they're the jumping on the ships. Straight havoc, fam. Blast them to smithereens, blast them with what? No cannons gonna hurt these boys, yo. No, stop! Yeah, because these dudes are like. You know how like Nika is to Kuma? That's exactly what giants are to Usopp. It is. It's uh, Usopp's in, uh, in love and all with them. So he's gonna be overwhelmed. There. He sees them. My. <laughs> Goes my masters, yo. They look at his expression. Oh God! If we ever do go to Albuff, let Usopp shine like no tomorrow, man. Any dudes? Every character has their like arc where they shine in a sense. Yeah, Wano had a lot of mini shines. Usopp still has to get that push, fam. Elbath makes all sense because of his love for the land. Not just the land, the giants. My man goes, my masters. I don't see this all going this move, man. I don't, man. But, but what are they doing here? Master Broggy. Master Dari, I can see Omeo and Kashi too. I bet they went to Little Garden to pick up their leaders. The Omeo Kashi uh, chopper remembers. That's gotta be it. Man, was I man? I was worried. I thought we might not see them in Albaf. Be rest assured, you won't only see them. You'll see all the flipping. Uh, Giants we never heard of come across. I thought we might not see them in Albaf. A refresher on the giant while we are pirates. A refresher. Recap. There you go. Long ago, the world was terrorized by this formidable group led by cold captains Dory and Broggy. Their crew would disband after they got into a certain quarrel. They used to fight each other all the time, remember? Luffy and the gang helped them out with their century-long duel was interrupted. Later on, while storming a different island, they would encounter and befriend Omeo and Kashi, a pair of giants who set out to check on their captains. Looks like they're really giving in, giving, giving it to those marines. Rightly so! I can't believe y'all you you know each other. They must have come a running after hearing the news. How's that possible? Yeah. The Navy, the Navy marshaled a ton of manpower for this operation. It's no wonder it made the papers and the whole world knows about this. Hence why more people should be here in a sense, man. It's a grand opportunity, but I, but I reckon the headlines must be painting them in good light. Of course, in it. pirates are doing this. They're going against, you know, the righteousness of the world and shit. So this is big news already, huh? I guess that makes sense. After hearing the news, so they want Goku to solve it. You ever think, like, why do it must be related to Shanks, man? It has to be, dude, don't you think? Because obviously the devil fruit was with him, and they said here, we're here for some god. I mean, you're already, I guess that makes sense. <clears throat> I'm in tears. They didn't come here to wage war. They came to help us get out of here. We got to hurry and finish our prep. Ring the, the, the mushy, dead, the sunny. 
Nami san, it's Brooke. Brooke, where are you? Close. Yeah, very close, but we won't be able to stop 40. We need to stop if we fly off the edge. We'll be fried by the barrier. Hello, this is Lilith. This numbskull really is brainless. We can't afford to dilly dally, so pay attention. Jimbei, man. Sounds like they're getting fired up. We need to be ready to leave at a moment's notice. Hey, Liz, this isn't the time to be picking fights. Zoro! Zoro Luchi! This isn't the time to be picking fights, Zoro. So it's either this. Zoro does not want to leave until he finish off Luchi. Oh, uh, uh, Luchi is way too strong for Zoro. I'm going for uh, Luchi's way too strong, man, because in a fair fight, Luchi will dispose of Zoro, isn't it? This isn't time to be picking fights, Zoro. So basically, you know, Zoro, finish off what you're doing quick and let's bounce. <laughs> oh! Ah! We know whose hand is that! There! Blue Chip Zorro! Pan, you're really tough, but I'm in a hurry! It's time to wrap this up! <laughs> Zorro versus Luchi! You're pretty tough, but I'm in a hurry! It's time to wrap this up! So it's almost like your fam is time it's for time for me to go. Only the winner gets to talk like that, Zoro. Your crew's waiting for you, right? You're just a burden at this point. Yo, that's personal. Zoro! Don't come back to the sunny not till you defeat Luchi! Which will happen, let's be honest! Only the winner gets to talk like that. You're pretty tough, but I'm in a hurry, so it's time to wrap this up. Only the winner gets to talk like that. You're wasting you, your crew's waiting for you, right? You're just a burden at this point. Basic implied, we would have left. But we're not leaving because we're waiting for your sorry ass. Dude! Luchi will dispose of Zoro, right? I feel like Luchi is holding back, in a sense. Man, I just defeated the king. I mean, literally just defeated the king, but I've just seen that episode now. But Luchi is awakened state. Luffy struggles against him. Okay, not now in Gear 5. But that's Gear 5. Nah. Luchi would win, man. Luchi would win. Those fools will never make it out. Never make it if they can't cut off the arm. Do so what way to pull it. Those fools will never make it. Men never make it if they can't cut off the arm to save the body. So basically the arm is represent is over. They need to sacrifice a limb, right? In order to save what's rest. Because you will survive without an arm. But Zoro is not just an arm. It's the backbone. Can you cut off the backbone and live? No. Giving up now would be doing them a favor waiting for a corpse. <laughs> the way he's wording it. Giving up now would be doing them a favor waiting for a corpse is pointless after all. And you see the wall, look at the body looks. He looks like Thundercats. I mean, if you're old enough about to know about Thundercats. He does, ain't it? Look at the awakened state he's in. Give him now, we'll be doing them a favor. I'm waiting for a corpse is pointless after all. I want to see what Zorro says to this. It almost sounds like you think you are the one in control. Oh! Something Zorro would say. Really? It almost sounds like you think you are the one in control of this fight, Wabluchi. 
in it. So it's like, fam, whatever you're doing, I, I can combat it. Because that chapter, we never see nothing to do with them. Lucy's going to do his best to hold Zorro because he knows that we won't leave without Zorro. And now Zorro's pride's on stake, even though it's not necessarily a sword fight. And they like king. But now if he, Zorro's going to feel like, I can't leave unless I defeat him. Please tell me this goes on to the next page. Kizaru! Right! The light! Damage report! No! Pacifistas! Damn, my fuck, we are strong! We are strong! Roughly 30 of our small to medium sized ships have been sunk with no signs of it stopping. The pacifists are fully on the bunnies. Orders, man. That is dope. I thought that was Kizaru. You can't blame me, right? Dear, the ships, small to medium size, have been sunk. Which means the larger are still there. And obviously, the larger ships are the ones to fear, right? With no signs of it stopping. And they're gonna like, do with batteries in them, and they're not gonna stop. Pull back all smaller vessels and lead with the battleships. We can't afford to leave and open our fear. Fear! They're experiencing fear! Pull back all smaller vessels and lead with the battleships. The battleships are the large ships. We can't afford to leave an opening. There. Okay, so obviously it stops shooting the smoke. Yes, sir. Vice Admiral Red King. My man got a giraffe's neck, fam. My man got layers. Yes, sir, Vice Admiral Red King. This is a pitiful sight. It is, ain't it? When have you seen the Marines, Navy, government being such on the back foot? Have you ever seen this? That too with a Gorgas say on board. It is, Fox dudes. When have you ever seen this? This is like the beginning of the end for them. It'd be fully beginning of the end once that giant robot starts moving. But this is still, man, this is a whole huge ass improvement, man. The plastic! They use the big battleship! The blasted the pacifista to think we marines have to fall. <laughs> it's true, because the pacifista was theirs. To think we marines have to fall on our own weapons. We're shooting something that belonged to us. Little they did not know Vegapunk had the last flipping trick inside of them to react to what Bonnie says. That's why Vegapunk is the man. Do you think we Marines have to fire on our own weapons? Then you see the blast on uh, the pacifista falls back. <laughs> Luffy! Hey, Bonnie! There, she looks up. Oh, she is gonna be overwhelmed. Uh, look at Vegapunk. Obviously from last chapter, he got stabbed right through the chest, right? They're all looking up. Saturn is looking up. Obviously, Kuma's not in his senses, or he doesn't, he's not aware Nika is here. What's with the war? Oh, look how the fucking be how beautiful he looks, man. Look at the heart. That panel is South Radiant Joy, fam. What's with the waterworks? Why are you crying, Bunny? 
Why wouldn't I be crying, you idiot? I've been looking for you for so long. Long. Long isn't the word. I've been looking for you for so long. What's with the waterworks? Why are you crying? What's there to cry about? That's what Luffy's thinking. Are you, are, you, are you not certain we're gonna leave? Don't you know I'm here? I've been looking for you for so long. There are, oh man, there's no care in the world, fam. This is the Magadius power up. Hmm, but I've been here the whole time. Yeah, you've been here, but not your Nika form. I've been here the whole time. Sure, but I didn't know, yeah, exactly, I didn't know you were Nika. Oh yeah, he doesn't even, <laughs> <That's it. laughs> never change, Luffy, never change. Nika, Nika, what's that? Oh yeah, what's the deal with that flimsy punch you tried to throw earlier? Flimsy punch you tried to throw earlier? Like I said last chapter, Bunny is gonna get a lot stronger now. Now that she's seen Nika in full flesh, in full form. Trust me on that. They didn't know you and Nika, Nika was there. Oh yeah, what's the deal with that for the punch you for earlier? I was going for a big robbery attack like you. If it's so flimsy, why don't you show me how it's done? Yeah, I tried to go, I was going for a big robbery attack like you, so flimsy, why don't you show me how it's done? So she can observe it. Once she observes it, she will be able to imitate it, right? Not good as Luffy, but to an extent, it'd be a lot better than it was. A big robbery attack like you, if it's so flimsy, why don't you show me how it's done? Give the old windbag a good one for Vegapunk, then we can get out of here. He's saying, Punk Salon, Punk Salon. She's pointing at him! There's your target, Luffy! Give the old one bag a good one for Vegapunk, then we can get out of here. Oh, he just seen now what happened to Vegapunk. He's gonna bomb! <laughs> Saturn is fucked. He is. This is the moment, dudes. None of you filthy cockroaches have a right to live now. And as you guys have broken every single law, anything that requires execution, the death penalty. You guys have done tenfold! None of you filthy cockroaches have a right to live now. You are wrong. All right, Bonnie, that sounds like a plan. There, it's gonna be this page, right? Don't you think it's so dope how old that rolls Luffy? Look, you, 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 you don't know if he has eyes or not. He's just smiling. And now that he's seen Vegapunk, Saturn's gonna get the uttermost beatdown. But the kind of shocking thing would be to do now is that it does not affect him, innit? But his gear 5 is gonna hit like a truck. <laughs> Whirlwind! For the record! This is how you punch Salon Gleam Eyes 
It does! Luffy got some blood! That knocks his head back! You're gonna pay for it! <laughs> Luffy! You're gonna pay for hurting my friends! Yeah, Gomu Gomu. Nail it with this picture! Nail it! The booming dawn! Oh! Dudes! We've been waiting for this! Booming dawn! It's like Gatling gun! It is! Pummel the fuck out of him! We've been waiting for this moment! Huh? One minute. I've heard a neighbor in the car say, shut up. Booming dawn, Gatling, the fam! Clubbers the shit out of him! More so after he's seen Vega Punk State! Yeah, got Gatling gun booming, dawn Gatling. You can't tell me we've been not waiting for this. Yeah, been waiting more for Akuma to damage him. But dude, this guy caused havoc in every sense of the word, fam. Now Luffy's got his paws on him. The fuck I would just regenerate where I were, but it's still soothing to see, right? Gleam, that's with his eyes in it. He knocks Luffy's head back. But he doesn't hurt him. He replies with, you're going to pay for hurting my friends. There gone gone with blooming dawn. He does not know his Nika. Yo, imagine having such power. Such a fucking power. That once it's awakened, the whole world, uh, the whole uh, government, government fear the day he awakens. You have that power on you. You are unaware you possess it. It's mind-boggling, fam. It is. It's like being the strongest guy ever. And unaware you're strong. I guess that's what that what makes his 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 kiddish character perfect. And you do that, like your family works, yo. Hold on, your Nika, what the hell's Nika? I don't know. He's a child in it, that mindset. And it's that mindset that can possess that power, but wouldn't understand the power. See, your fam, don't change. That's the best thing that could happen to Luffy. The silent Barney just observes, cries. You guys remember, dude, this was all a myth before this chapter. Okay, last chapter, because you've seen it. But this was like a myth. This was not meant to be true. And Kuma once again can't tell. Vega punks on death's door. If you want to get out of here, Bonnie, you're going to have to use your legs if you want to get out of here, Bonnie. Ah, uh, look where Bonnie's concern is. The ones responsible for showing the bubble and all the flipping memories that were lost, that could not, I mean, she could have never seen. Is vague upon you feel like this guy can't die? This guy's knowledge is so much that there must be a cure or something. Frank is like, you gotta go, we gotta go. Well, man, stop it, man. 
and have to use those legs if you want to get out of here, Bonnie. The hover function should still work while we're on the island. The hover function. Let's go, Vegapunk. Let's go, Vegapunk. Frankie, you're going to have to carry with us. Yeah, like he's going to get up and run. Frankie's going to carry him. You're going to have to use those legs. You're going to okay, get up. Okay, let's go, Vegapunk. Go on without me. This is no time to be playing hero. Go on without me, Bonnie. I've been a doctor for long enough to know that if I move... Oh! He's volunteering! He knows if he moves, he'll die! If he is saying this, it must be true. There's no one got more flipping scientific, not me scientific, about no one knows more about the organs than my man. If he's saying he'll move, he'll die. He'll move, he'll die. But he's someone you can't leave behind. Uh, what do you do in this situation? What do you do? You gotta leave him. Because if what he's saying is true, even though if he moves an inch, he'll die. Leave him and leave! We'll go! I'm sure he'll find a way. Disavu! Disavu! He's like going somewhere! You'll be dead either way this is! Right on Bonnie. Yeah, she looks. Let's think! Luffy's nearby, right? Sanji! Fucking Sanji! My man! Fam, do you know how hard it is to blast a laser beam from Kizaru? Man, fam, he's been more quicker than the sturdy bird we seen yesterday in Freeman! My man blasted the fucking laser beam! Bonnie looks shocked. Man, Sanji is getting the work! Ah, look at his face! He never knew it's possible. Because correct me if I'm wrong, when he fought Rayleigh, I don't I see I don't wanna say something because I don't, but from, like he never made a face like that. And Rayleigh, I know Rayleigh was past his heyday, but it's fucking Rayleigh! He blasts the beam, kicks the beam. His face is like this is not possible. What the hell? Dad! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Sanji, man! Boys! How? Oh, that was a freaking laser! Any laser? Yo, fam! You know, I, I got the laser pens. Have you ever pressed the button? And the time it takes to press the button for it to hit the wall. Do you know how quick that is? Man, growing up, we are lasers, right? Those pens. My man Sanji seen it coming. That was a freaking laser. Light doesn't hold a candle. Oh. I love how Egghead is showing, like, 
there's something called love that would prevent that would prevent a disaster from taking place. First with Kuma, there's something in life you cannot explain. Love is the answer to that. Now Sanji is saying, I know this might be flipping gimmicky in a sense, why right? I'm not looking at it as that. Light doesn't hold a candle to love. Love is something that would that, that would flip in a make the impossible possible. Light doesn't hold a candle to love. If that's true, they'll have to scrap the physics books and start. <laughs> Cause I don't buy it. He don't. Boy, fucking Sanji, man. <laughs> Look at Usopp's reaction. Look at Kizaru's. We know this man trolls all the time with his faces, but here he looks actually shocked. If Sanji can do this, Anime worlds are fucking the like the strong one of the strongest forces in the whole series. But seeing Sanji do this gives you hope. It does, right, boys? It gives you hope for a battle ever to commence after Al Bafo down the line. Yo, Sanji can hold his own. This has to be a daddiest page, fam. Frankie. They're all going. We're actually leaving Vegapunk. Surely not. But if he moves, he'll die. Let's go to the northeast port. Are we really gonna leave? Well, I'm in a real pickle now. There is a migraine is back. Well, I'm in a real pickle now. Basically, I don't know what to do. They expect me to at least bring back your heads after... <laughs> it's fired! Akinu! Gonna fucking magma his ass! They'll expect me to at least bring back your heads after all this. He's... F oh my god. Sanji! He's smoking! You fucking can't be serious! Sanji's the goat! He pulled out a fag! You know what this picture reminds me of? A Wano, remember the panel at the end when we're all sitting? And when uh, Admiral uh, Bulbasaur got uh, taken care of, and they're like, "Oh, we knew, uh, we knew about it all along," and all the straw hats are just sitting. Then you felt power from that panel, right? You felt like, okay, the straw hats are a different breed now. Look at this panel. Hear me out. They'll expect me to at least bring your heads after all this. Kizaru and the Admiral, one of the strongest people in the whole navy, saying that. I failed my mission, implying that uh, if I don't bring the heads back now, I am dead. Luffy and Nika form, levitating off the ground, just laughing. Sanji, for God's sake, two seconds after deflecting a laser beam with something that the speed is unheard of, my man pulls out a cigarette like there's no care. Fuck, man. So good, so good. This panel speaks volumes. It does. How do you pull out a fucking smoke? You only pull that out, Sanji, when you know you are calm, when you know you have the situation under control. But you think you're, you're just Kizaru, it's Kizaru. Your destroyer hats are indeed a force to be reckoned with. We are, fam. 
And Luffy is there laughing. You better start drafting an apology letter for them then. You better start drafting an apology letter for them then. Look, you still see Vegapunk down. This Shallon? Surprise, surprise, man! This fucker's gonna get up! Man, you need to remove heart from body! Crumble step! Huh? Boys, am I tripping? But who the fuck is that? Well, well, it's not every day you see one of the five elders down in the dirt! Someone's here! Someone's here! Right! This isn't someone we know! Come on, let me get this right. Let me guess this right. Well, it's not every day you see someone of the five elders down in the dirt. Look at the way this is worded. Like the font is different. In it, implying that there's someone else talking. And this is a woman. Blackbeard. Can't be the giant still already here. If you guys could fucking hear my heartbeat. What kind of delicious power do you have? The, the gun guy! So they're fucking here! They're here, Marineford. When did they come? When did they come? When we went towards the end of the arc, why? When Whitebeard was on the. Uh, was gone! When they stole the fruit! Saturn now is what? I wouldn't say death's door, but severely hurt! Huh? What kind of delicious power do you have? They're talking about stealing his devil fruit? Only Blackbeard can do that. To think an elder would come down to the surface and bless us with his presence is unheard of. But it sure made our job a hell of a lot easier. She touches. Oh! She. Okay, one minute, sorry. Okay. Just look at what the, the kind of delicious papa do you have. Do you think an elder will come down to the service and bless us with his presence is unheard of? But it made our job hell of a lot easier. Mission complete. She touches him. So by touching him, she can imitate. See, I'm sorry, dude. I don't remember when she ever used it. But it's common sense. She can imitate devil fruits. Dear Bloody Pirate 6. Dear Katarina Devon. Katarina Moria. 
Moria! Wait! Remember! Absalom! That all I needed was the name! When I see the name, I remember! Absalom! Remember, dudes! Remoria! Tribal gone for his friends! There, she can imitate the fruits. She was the. Yeah, the, the, the fox! QB! Third ship captain, Van Orga. Whoa, oh, Blackbeard. You gotta give it to Blackbeard. Oh, look! Look at the wisdom! Send two people on a mission. One person can what? Steal devil fruit, not steal. Steal power. Someone with him, like, like a funeral. Like a, a warp. Spatial magic. You can go through holes and you can have them bounce. Warp, warp fruit. So they can escape. Blackbeard pirates, every time, every time they appear, it's always right towards the end of something. Clever rats. Shit, man, sorry, dude, man. Katarina Devon, I'm surprised a level six escapee like you would choose the life of a subordinate. A life of someone that like supports someone. She laughs. Teach is special. <laughs> we are away. We are away. Teach is special. If it's worth being a subordinate under someone, it's him. Enik. Which goes to show more. If he, hold on, if she can copy his devil food, can't she go inside? Obviously, the girl say, and pretend she's Saturn. She can, right? No one will know. But unless the rest of the group say can lock on somehow, because these fuckers are the rulers of the world, fam. Surely they would know in a way, right? Or am I pushing it? I don't know. As is his lineage. Huh? Teach is special. As his lineage. So Blackbeard's race. He, his, his ancestry are a special kind. Saturn is aware as his lineage. There, so like, there's something about his lineage that is a like a little like you know how buccaneers are looked up up as. His is the same as his lineage. So there's something special, obviously, about Blackbeard. No surprise there. I so saw you know about that. Your crew is always up to something. What do you hope to get out of these stunts? Ah, is it me or Saturn is talking more on a flipping amateur level? Your crew is always up to something. What do you hope to get out of these stunts? And it's like, yo, uh, give me back. Like, you know, he's talking. He's not, he is not talking like a ruler of the world. Any boys. He's talking more on our level. The world, not the One Piece. Stamp these are the final villains. The world, you know, not the One Piece. They wanna be basically the Gorosays of the world. They wanna rule the planet. I thought for certain it'd be like Kaido and Mommy are together. We're gonna find the One Piece. Their goal is not the One Piece. Like, from your One Piece, it might be a goal, but it's not their overall goal. Their goal is pure dictatorship, like North Korea and shit. I mean, I mean, I mean, like, how they are in that country, but governed by the whole planet. Who says that? 
Our plan is what the world. Pop! There! The World War Food! They're gone! They're gone! They took silence power and left. Warp, warp fruit, warp, warp fruit with someone that can touch you and steal their devil fruit is the ultimate combination. Blackbeard done his homework. Now this, what happens here, boys, is going to shape the future. Watch. Katrina has the power of Saturn. Now this is going to cause big issues down the line. And my life is... He tried that gleam shit again. No, but we was thought he tried stomping and pop the gun. Now what? Now what, you wuss? That's the face of someone that's defeated. Ain't it? Yeah. Let's be off then. We're still on the island. Couldn't you have warped us any further? So they still have not escaped. Remember that boys? I haven't... Oh, he can't do it. So they're not fully off the island. So it's still possible for them to be caught. He has not mastered his, uh, his ability to transfer them even further. Wait, hold on a second, please. Supersonic Van Ogre, Maiden Hunter Katrina Devon. Who the fuck is that? I never thought we'd meet in a place like this. to Luffy is out of the picture. Who did it? Kazaru, man. Why am I still feeling something weird? I can't put in words. He's talking like bot. I'm a pirate like you, my name's Kevin, but I've been looking for the, for you guys for like forever. Uh, sorry, I meant to say forever. I said sail because I wanted to be a great man. Ja, fucking, I see the one piece at the bottom, it's fucking finished. I said sail because I wanted to be a great man, just like him. He's my idol, my hero, Blackbeard. I've always dreamed of being a lackey. On Commodore Teacher's crew. It's all I've ever wished for. Please take me to meet him. He'll be the biggest threat. He knows about Wano. Pluton. Remember, dude, the barrel. He overheard. So Blackbeard's biggest treasure will be taking Caribou on board. It will be. This would be a big threat! Fuck! Front and cover color spread next issue. I do not see no break. So by this, there should be one piece next week, right? Wait. Sorry, dude. He's talking exactly like Bart. So he's gonna go with Blackbeard. Oh, my dumbass couldn't lock on who this was. It obviously is Caribou, man. What the fuck? It's just dudes. It's just so unpredictable. 
Like Fam Calibur never even crossed my mind for a millisecond. This whole chapter, and to see someone's head like this, your brain, my fucking brain, don't register until I see this and I go, How did I not lock on? This is the sign of a defeated man. The world, his lineage, there's something about the black pea uh, teaches flipping lineage that's extra special that people should fear. And it, boys, as so you know about that, your crew is always up to something. What do you hope to get out of these stunts? The world. Now, this is scary. What does he imp what do they imp what does the world imply? To me, it's exactly what the Grover say are doing ruling the world but they're just a private group surely after finding the one piece it's enough but no they want it's like they want to enforce slavery they want to they want the whole world to be under their foot which will be the definition of actual pirates in a sense right causing fear misfortune upon others the world is something i can't like i don't i don't know what to say it's more than just the one piece yeah i know with luffy it is more than just the one piece there's a dream right he wants to fulfill so this goes to show there could be other goals if for characters. It's not just the one piece. And look how a genius Blackbeard is. He brought two people, one that can steal devil fruit, not steal, but imitate other devil fruit, and a guy that can warp. Them two together are a menacing force. Because all it does is one touch and bounce, we are gone. So it was them two that were the ship. Remember all them chapters ago, boys. Remember all them chapters ago where we see a ship? It was Katarina and Olga. Them two were together. Waiting for the perfect opportunity. Man, yo, we, we hate Blackbeard. I mean, we're well aware, right? Like, but you gotta give it to them. They know what the fuck they're doing. They know when to invade, when to... But you know, them come to Egg, it should be no surprise, right? Their ship was for here. He, uh, how many chapters ago? But to see these two come together, you see, honestly, jokes aside, dudes, if I made my dumbass remember what their devil fruits do, I could feel like I could have predicted this. But then again, anyone can say that, but I'm not trolling. I feel like if I just remembered, I didn't remember. When I seen their name, then I remembered. I remember seeing it in uh, Absalom and uh, Moria. And, and that's when I would like back to that episode. When I was in Egypt, right, if I'm not mistaken. Delicious power. My God, man. To be an elder will come down to the service and bless us with his presence is unheard of. Look at them saying, an elder coming on land? On land, breathing same air as us? What type of black magic is this? So you think we are not going to take advantage of this situation of a Gove Sabinia? What are you smoking? I'm talking about, oh, we're going to go back on that. What have you been smoking? Of course we're going to come. Mission complete. Oh, stop, man. Yo, Egged, yo, fam, man. Just put me on record. Egged has been phenomenal, man. Oh, this has to be the coldest, coldest coldest panel fam Sanji at the yo fam yo dudes the older uh, like is is focused on the like normally Zoro gets these moments I feel like uh it's all of that you know what enough's enough but my boy Sanji it's time to get the love my man deflects a, a, a light that the speed is unheard of to the human uh, ears and eyes it's unheard of Sanji deflects it and pulls out a smoke. Tell me that is not cold. And Vegapunk's lying there, basically dead. And uh, Luffy is just in gear 5, just being Luffy. 
That has to be the dirtiest panel ever. It has to be, it has to be, boys. It's impossible to tell it just by looking at this who this is. Is it? No. I don't know. I don't know. Probably someone would lock on, but fam with that foot. But you know it's a black beard. How you just know it? Duh. Fuck my man. <laughs> man, what, what are you doing? I'll be scared my leg gets chopped off. This is dope. And Kizaru's like, what? Then they're promoting the love aspect. Some things can, and how cheesy as this may sound. It is damn true. It is. There's some things that, that uh, you do out of love that science cannot explain, fam. Kuma Komigia was one of them. Sanji doing this is one of them. I know a lot of people don't want to hear that, right? Because they want they want there to be a logical sense, right? In it, one piece needs to make lo yeah, it needs to make sense, and not just love. What is love? But no, my love is something, dude. It's like yo, it's because of love you could do something where you could never normally do. It's a fact. <laughs> Let's be honest, Kuma punch was more satisfying because of the backstory we just witnessed. If that backstory was not told, this would have been more uh, impactful. But from the Kuma punch, man, boy, I got like 20 messages during this month. Wait, man, please. What I was saying, man, I forgot. The Kuma, right, the punch. That Kuma punch after that flashback just felt like he came from his soul. Because when that panel, you see Kuma go back and you just feel it. Years and years of fucking suffering. Now you fucking Falcon in Smash Brothers where he goes Falcon. But he was like that for a year. A year. And he sees him and he clobbers him. Luffy's punch here was more of a, you know what? Barney, if this helps you down the line... Uh, I'll do it. There, then he sees Vega Punk. He gets shocked. There's no panels I missed, right? Pacifista. Let me see Zovo. Here. You're pretty tough, but I'm in a hurry. It's time to wrap this up. Only the winner gets to talk like that, Zovo. Your crew's waiting for you, right? You're just a burden at this point. Those fools will never make it out. They can't cut off an arm to save the body. You're basically implying they're going to have to leave without you. They're going to have to leave without you because I'm not letting you escape. Giving up now would be doing them a favour. Waiting for a corpse to put... Oh, that's cold. <laughs> that's cold, yo. That's cold, yo. Giving up now would be doing them a favour. Waiting for a corpse to put this after all. You almost sound like you think you're the one in control of this fight for Bleachy. Oh, yo, fam, like, right now, they're not fighting uh, at their full strength. Because if Luchi fought at his full strength, Luchi would win, right? At the moment, it feels like Luchi in some way is toying with him. He is Luchi. Luchi knows the straw hats are can't leave without Zoro. So you know what? Instead of going all out and defeating Zoro, I have to make sure that I toy with him because then time of the essence, right? Time's ticking, 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 and they won't be able to leave. Hence, why Sand could take care of the straw hats. You see what Luchi's mind game is here. Because Luffy struggled against him once upon a time. Obviously, right now they're both awakened. Luffy's awakened. Luffy's awakened state can be anyone, probably. But uh, Luchi's awakened state will dispose of any of the straw hats. Facts. The chimney. This is the time to pick in fights, Zorvo. It's not just that. Luchi ain't gonna lame go. There's a difference. 
Yeah, we know Zova has pride and everything. Is not he ain't gonna want to leave unless he defeats Luchi. But Luchi's playing mind games with him. Luchi ain't really trying. Oh man, the giants are here, boys. Yo, if the government took the biggest L in these chapters, like, I feel like it can't be the end. It can't be, yo, fam, this would be too absurd. The pacifists, the giants, Blackbeard, but you have to remember this, Blackbeard have not left. This is going to play a major role, you know. It is, they have not left. But now will Oda let them, like, uh, something happen to them now? No, I feel like they will leave. Still on the island. Carry boat is gonna be yo if I'm like yo why he the knowledge he possesses is worth millions of dollars. So him being with black he's gonna mention it, you know. He's going to mention, they're going to say, no, why would we take you? Then he's going to mention, I know this, I know that. Then uh, uh, Devon's going to go to Ogre family. Yo, family, the knowledge he possesses, Blackbeard would be really happy with us if we take him. Yo, Caribo, you're coming with us. Man, like, I read the script, yo. I just, I feel like that's going to happen. Then it comes down, who gave the food to Luffy? <laughs> you ever think about that, boys? It comes down to that, right? Someone gave the food to him. But as I said, this uh, chapter, you feel like you can't be because Kizaru. But I feel like, like I said before, you can help your enemy and fight your enemy at the same time. You can do that. How ridiculous that may sound, you can. Because Kizaru looks like a defeated man. Look what he says here. They expect me to at least bring back your heads after all this. If I leave here now, I go back to Akainu, the other go and say, and they're going to say, what happened? Nothing. They managed to all escape. What? Then he's going to be in the, But then again, again, you're going to have to be destroyed. The giants are going to help us go to Albaf, right? What's going to happen to Vegapunk? What's going to happen to Vegapunk? But you know, I feel like Vegapunk alone in this place, he can still take care of himself somehow. Believe it or not, this guy could create limbs and shit, man. There's scientific research is out of the world. It's unheard of. His whole body, soul could be passed on to something, fam. Nothing is out of the realm of impossibility with Vegapunk. And nothing, dudes. She's going to be animalistic now. Watch. Oh, fam, look how sick this guy looks, man. I remember when uh, Gear 5 first got spoiled and I seen yellow hair. In the back of my head, I'm like, okay, yeah, everything copies Goku, right? It's going to still be cool because I first seen it with yellow hair, dudes. But then once I read the chapter... Then uh, someone showed me later that no, it's not yellow, it's white. Yo, dudes, my fam, I felt like, uh, yo, you know, the love for Gear 5 uh, double, uh, tenfolded, fam. Because, yo, it's original. It's not yellow hair. Yeah, what I see in spoiler was yellow hair, but maybe that was like fan art in a sense. I do not know. But the white hair, it's original, man. It's fucking cart cartoony as flip. It's like... No one wants to hear me flip and repeat myself. I'm a weird dude. But like I said, man, I, one day, man, I'm, I feel like I'm making a video just on why I love Gear 5 so much. I swear, man, I need to do that, man, because I could be talking endlessly about it.
I don't feel like there's a better power up ever than this man. I don't lose, and a better power up suits a character more than what this does to Luffy. I can't imagine Luffy in Gear Five serious. I can't. It goes against the very nature of Boy Boy, right? Serious, uh, someone that brings joys to people. It don't fit. But then he, every time he's in Gear Five, he's gonna be in this state. No matter who he fights, you can't imagine it. But then that's just the greatness of it. Unbelievable. For the record, this is how you punch the Pomal Salon. Fuck, man, you know how much this much must hurt. Booming, dawn, gattling. Oh, imagine this in the anime. Anyway, boys, love. Like I said, there, there should be a chapter next week, boys. Ain't it because of this? I thought because of when the leakers thing happened that a chapter might come out weekend. Truth be told, I was leaning towards that. But no, it came out Thursday. And obviously it came out Thursday after I'd done the quad to fearing. And normally I can upload like the once time in the period of the day. So that was that. So when this came out, oh yeah, by the way, dudes. You know when this chapter, uh, I mean, uh, when uh, hints dropped. Hints were apparently out and I was replying to YouTube comments. It was scary. The later on in the night, I looked at. Discord and Moki salute as always go, yo, hints are out. I'm like, my god, yo, but again, hints. Yeah, but hints are spoilers, man. Hints could be like, uh, someone comes to Egghead, right? That's a hint. But I'll be, I gotta be wary because when I seen that, that was after I was looking at YouTube comments, I'm like, shit, man, playing with fire. But now I know as soon as I see that, I need to make sure I see the message. And then boom, Absalom away from the comments. Anyway, dudes, everyone's blessed, loved ones, family, all in good health, yo. And weekend, at some point, I try getting in my, uh, you know, uh, go leveling, yo. If not, it'll be Monday, dudes. But I'll try getting in over the weekend. Okay, dudes. And next week, we'll be up to date with Freeven as well. So there'll be more time for One Piece anime, Clover and Hero, to, to be rotated, right? Because the only anime is that, I mean, anime that we're doing that's weekly is Freeven and leveling. One Piece manga doesn't come out every week, right? So there'll be weeks where there is no manga. Okay. Love, dudes.